guys welcome back and i hope you guys are doing great so today's video is my favorites of 2021 these might not be released in this particular year but i personally bought them this year so we are gonna feature them now so i'm gonna start off with makeup because i know most people are gonna be interested in that and the first thing i want to talk about is the swiss beauty jet black eyeliner i have never talked about this on my channel or even on my instagram but this is probably one of the best things i've purchased this year i cannot tell you how many videos i have watched to find a prop but pen style eyeliner. I just wanted to try a pen style because I felt like wings would be a lot easier with this and I wanted something jet black because I've tried the Maybelline Colossal one and as far as I remember it, it was black in the first few days and after that it went dry. I saw someone recommend this, not even on YouTube, I saw this on Instagram and I thought, you know what, it's cheap. I had some space in my shopping cart, I put this in and this makes me want to do my eyeliner more. It's been so good so far. I think it's been three or four months since I got it. It's a felt tip. I really like it. It's really precise. So if you want to do your inner corner, you know, the cat eye thing, it's probably going to work really well on that. The formula is really good. It is waterproof and it does come off with your makeup remover, micellar water, whatever you're using. The only con really, if even you want to consider it a con is that it isn't matte it is slightly glossy it's not to the point where you can see your eyeliner from 10 feet distance but it's gonna shine a little like today i'm wearing it i don't think it's showing up that much on camera and that is how it looks pretty much in real life too and i've also tried to mattify it with eyeshadow it does not work that well so if you're thinking i'll just mattify it there are chances that it won't work that way but if that one thing does not bother you please try this this is just so 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 good and even if this dried out very quickly which it did not I would still repurchase this because the formula is just that good. I did my wings today. They are not even, but at least they are wings. Please get it. I'm sure you'll enjoy this. The next thing is a formula, not necessarily these shades in particular. I'm talking about the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I think a few years, not a few years back, but maybe two years ago, I talked about this and how much I did not like it, but I've grown to like it a lot and now I know how to work with the formula. The two shades that I have are Amazonian and Seeker. I've made a whole video about this. I really like these. They look very similar, I know. Even I get confused. But for the formula, if you're wearing masks, if you want something that stays on forever, until you take it off, this is it. If you have a wedding in your house, if you are the bride even, I would suggest this. Yes, the formula has some cons. Like it feels very tacky when you are smacking your lips together. And also as all liquid lipsticks do, where you'll be able to clearly see where the product starts like here and where the lip starts. And that might be a problem. And it's also not really matte. It does have a sheen to it. So if you're ready to ignore these three things, I think you'll really enjoy this. It really lasts long, you guys. If I have a wedding in my house and I want to put shade if i have that shade in bullet lipstick in my collection i'll probably still buy the superstay formula because i know i don't have to worry about it smearing off it's not going anywhere it's staying on forever and ever i really like this i've seen some people not like this formula and i can understand their point of view too but i think trying one of the 42 colors that they have it's worth it and again 42 colors where else you're gonna get that much choice i don't think a lot of lip ranges have that many and they also keep on bringing new shades because this is a very famous range for maybelline so yeah buy them. Next thing is a Lacme powder. This is the Lacme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Powder Foundation. I have talked about this in my affordable powders video. I'll link it somewhere. It's a really good video if you want to find some other options. And this one really stood out to me. I have spent so much time trying to just find a really good powder for my face, for my under eyes, and nothing has compared to the Wet n Wild that one. And it's still is my favorite but this one comes really close i have the shade honey dew and i am gonna order a shade lighter because this one works for all over my face but if i'm using it under my eyes it looks slightly dull so i'm ordering the shade silky golden and i also got this for 295 rupees from nika or 288 rupees even and if you're getting that good of a deal on a powder that's this good i think you should really try it out it mattifies my skin it is very smooth to look at and i have dry skin so maybe people with oily skin will have a different experience but this stays on really well on me so i will always have a backup of this in my collection i really like it the next thing 
thing is the essence make me brow brow gel i love this brow gel just because of the wand i am yet to see how i feel about the formula but i'm putting it here because this is so affordable and is available or was available on mintra i'm glad to see essence kind of come back as a proper brand in india instead of just having maybe two products at a time on a random website this brow gel has been hyped up so much and i can see why it's a tinted brow gel the color that i have is the only one that was available on mintra but this is the perfect size of wand for my particular brow shape i've only had this for two to three weeks now but now anytime i have to go out this is the first thing i pick even over my nyx tinted brow mascara it wins over just with the wand size i think even if you aren't sure about it it's worth giving it a try just because it's more affordable than the next one and we don't really have a lot of options for brow gels so yeah is this an impulse addition to the list yes do i regret it no next thing i want to talk about is the nika all day matte liquid lipstick i'm gonna talk about this particular color and not the formula the formula is also good and that is why i'm actually talking about the color this is the color that i'm wearing it's in the shade boss babe please buy this if you are into reds that have pink undertones or just pinky red sort of shades especially for the wedding season this is such a common color for clothes and it suits indian skin tones so 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 much i love this even if the formula was bad i would still like it but the formula is actually really nice it stays on really nicely it is a little drying but come on it's a liquid lipstick it's transfer proof it works really well under mask it wears nicely so would highly recommend this the color is very stunning i know it's the only reason i'm featuring this i have a kurta that matches this perfectly and i cannot express how happy i am because even if you're not wearing a lot of makeup, wearing a bold lip with your outfit can elevate your look so much. And this is one of those colors. It's so nice. The next thing I want to talk about is just a short mention. It's about a nail polish. This is the Faces Canada nail polish in the color Floral Dream. If you want a pinky brown nude color for your nails, if you're around medium to medium deep and little deeper skin tones, you would enjoy this a lot. I really like it. It's my go-to nail polish. My only issue is that once I do two coats in which you get the maximum opacity, it looks slightly darker so I just do one coat and that works well for me. Of course you can see my nail through it but it doesn't bother me. I would rather have that color instead of two colors and make it a little more muted. The formula is also really nice. It also lasts really well. I just think it looks really nice on my nails and I would recommend this if you're looking for a new nail polish. And then I want to mention three tools. Two of them are sponges. First is the Bronson Professional Sponge. I have a review about it and I'll talk about it in comparison to the Color Bar one. The Bronson one very much worn it's really nice the only issue was that now when i wash it it takes some time to go into its proper form but the sponge is really soft it works really nicely it doesn't absorb too much product where you feel like it's eating up your foundation i've enjoyed it a lot and i would not hesitate going back to it and another sponge is this inside cosmetic sponge i'll probably talk more about this in a youtube shorts video or instagram reels video but for now i really enjoy this and yeah, if you are looking for a sponge, the Bronson or the Insight one, I would not hesitate going with either of them. Both are really, really, really good. And the other tool I want to talk about is the Vega nail file. This is the large nail file. It's metal and I've used one of the sponge ones to shape my nails and they work well but this is just another leg it's way more heavy duty than that and it gets your job done way more quickly than those two yes it is a little risky you might shave off more than you want to but if you're someone who has a hang around how to do their nails properly you can totally go ahead and use this and this will probably last you a lot longer than those sandpaper things so yeah, would highly recommend this. Mine does have a little rust over here, but it hasn't spread. So I don't go on with this side. I don't think there would be an issue. But just to be safe, I don't mess around with my organs. But I still really enjoy this. Long nails, short nails, I've tried this on both and I've enjoyed it both times. So yeah. Now let's move to the skincare section. Not a lot of people's favorite, but a lot of people still ask me to do this. So yeah. Honorable mentions to this nail mucin. Love that get it next thing is the Laneige lip sleeping mask i really like this one too next thing is a cleansing oil i really like cleansing oils this is the only one that i've tried but i already like them a lot better than balms not because balms are bad but these are just more convenient you don't have to melt them in your hand especially when it's cold and the balm is extra solidified this is convenient it has a pump push clean your face yeah this works on everything removes my super stay matte ink too one thing it does not remove is waterproof mascara if you just have one layer it will remove it but if you have multiple layers then 
it gets a little tough. I would still like this over the Maybelline mascara. So yeah, it's really light on my face too. It does not feel heavy even after I wash it or even while washing it. So yes, love it a lot and would definitely recommend it. And for the second cleanse step, we have the simple refreshing face wash. Like it better than the moisturizing one. Made a whole video about affordable face washes. You can check it out. But this one, I already have a backup. This is probably my third tube. So I really like this. It does not drive my skin out at all. If anything, it makes it feel like it's not stripped at all and it's very healthy. I enjoy it a lot and I haven't seen someone say anything bad about this. So I think it's safe to go ahead and try it if you have been eyeing it. Next are two sunscreens that I really enjoyed. The first one is the Episoft Moisturizer Plus Sunscreen SPF 30. I use this when I'm at home for when I'm going out. I like SPF 50 better but when I'm just at home I don't like applying a moisturizer as well as a sunscreen. I would much rather just get it done in one particular step. A lot of dermatologists recommend this. One con would be that because it's so hydrating and works also as a moisturizer. If you have oily skin maybe it will look a little bit too oily for me. Even even as a dry skin person, I have to set it with powder and that's when I'll be able to go out of my house or else it's just too dewy. I don't like that look on my face but other than that, it's really nice, saves a step. If I hate the heavy feeling of a moisturizer or even a sunscreen, this one is really good. It's lightweight, blends in really nicely, no white cast. Love this. Next sunscreen I really like is the Ekran Silicone Sunscreen Gel Soft. It's SPF 50 PA++++. This is the Rekeel sunscreen but better and smoother. I used to enjoy the Rekeel one a lot and that was my go-to sunscreen until this came around and then I've just been a fan of this. It's so good. Anytime I have to go out, there is no other sunscreen that I'm using underneath my makeup other than this. It blends in so nicely. It does not leave a white cast. If you're very deep, maybe you'll see a little bit of white cast. But I'm sure after blending it a bit, it will go away. The texture is just really nice. I also feel like I don't have to use a lot. I know sunscreens are supposed to be used in a particular quantity, but for me, applying one good layer of sunscreen on your face and neck should be enough to give you that amount of protection. I do apply enough when it comes to covering your entire face with a good layer, but if you are trying to do the three finger rule just for your face and neck with this, it might be a little too much. Depends on your usage of how you like your sunscreen, but for me, it's really good and definitely better than the Rikil one. If you have tried the Rikil one and enjoyed it, maybe give this one a try too and let me know how you feel. The formulas are very similar. This is just a tad bit smoother and I enjoy that. And the last thing in the skincare section are these razors. These are by the brand Sirona and the reason why I'm featuring them is because of the shape. I'll insert a better shot. It's easier for me as someone who has been doing her brows for a longer duration to get a precise line with this shape over something that is safe but might not give me as clean of a shave. Of course, you're not gonna get the same results as you do with threading or even plucking, but I choose comfort over my brow shape, I guess. People who thread their brows, oh my god, how can I be you? I wish I could tolerate the pain, but I just cannot. That's why the razors are featured. I like the shape particularly. It's not necessarily this particular brand. I'm saying that because the first razor that I have, it is slightly rusting now. It's obviously been a long time since I've used it, but I don't know. I would just recommend changing your razor if that is the case. They have three in one pack and that's very convenient too. So yeah, I would highly recommend this if you want a precise shave, but only if you have been doing your brows for a longer duration. Beginners, please do not go and do this. You might shave off important sections of your brow. But if you have a hang of it, I would definitely recommend them. And the last two things are hair care. The first one is the L'Oreal Dream Lens Leave-In Conditioner Cream. I cannot wash my hair without this. This is so good. I finished one bottle and then I thought, you know what, let me see if I just like it because I've been using it or if I actually feel the need to. And I washed my hair and saw how my hair felt that day without applying this cream. And that same day, I placed my order on Amazon because it's too good, you guys. I like this so, so, so much. If you have been eyeing a hair cream, please go ahead and buy this one. It's way cheaper than a lot of other options that are available in India. And it works really well, at least on my hair it did. I also have heard a lot of people recommend it. So I'm glad to see other people are enjoying it as well. So... Yeah, one of the best finds of this year or even just one of the best finds ever for my hair. I really like this. And the next one I wanted to mention is the L'Oreal 5-in-1 Oil Nourish Conditioner. It's really good. I've already talked about it. And the other one that I wanted to mention was the L'Oreal Clay Conditioner in 
the purifying and hydrating variant it's so good both of these conditioners are really good but i feel like the purifying hydrating one takes slight edge and i would not hesitate going back to this particular conditioner or even the five in one conditioner if i ever feel like my hair is just not the same with other conditioners so yeah it's really good both of them are really good and something that i would definitely recommend and also just want to do an honorable mention to the sipla 8x shampoo for dandruff issues and also the herbal essence moroccan argan oil shampoo i don't think i appreciated this enough and now that i've not used it for a few washes it's been a month or so i kind of miss it i feel like it was a lot hydrating for my hair so i just thought of mentioning it and yeah that is it those are all the products that i wanted to talk about in this particular video they are the things that i've enjoyed this year and made my ear a little bit better because it was pretty bad <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite products for this year have been and maybe I'll check it out as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.